Hello friends and welcome back. In this lecture we will solve another exercise on two dimensional arrays. And this is the exercise. I want you to write a program that prints the maximum of each row in a two dimensional array. So for example, if we have this array over here, then our program should print the following. The maximum of the first row is 10, the second row the maximum is 12, and the third row the maximum is 11. And as you can see for example, this is the first row and the maximum element is equal to 10. And the second row the maximum is 12 and the last row the maximum is 11. So pause the video and try to do this. So let's go to IntelliJ. So this is the array. And since we want to print the maximum of each row in this array, then we will iterate over this array row by row. So let's get started. We will start from i equals 0 and i will be less than the number of the rows which is 3 and i++. Now in each iteration of this loop, we want to get the maximum of the elements in the current row. So let's declare a variable called max and initialize it to be the first element of the current row. So let's get the current row integer sub i. And after that we'll get the first element which is sub 0. Okay? So over here we are supposing that the first element of the current row is the maximum element. Now after that we want to compare this element with the rest of the elements. So let's iterate over the rest of the elements in the current row. We will have a variable j starting from 1 for example. I'm not starting from 0 because we suppose that the first element is the maximum. Now, j will be less than the number of the columns, so j will be less than 4. And after that, j++. In this loop, we will assign the maximum to be equal to a ternary operator. So, if the current element, which is integer sub i sub j, is greater than the maximum, this means that we have a new maximum. So, the maximum will be equal to the current element, integers sub i sub j. And if this is not true, the maximum will stay as it is. When this loop finishes executing, we will have the maximum in the variable maximum. So, let's print it. I'm going to print, let's say row, and after that, concatenate the number of the row, which is i plus 1, and after that, concatenate a column with a space and then we will concatenate the maximum. As you can see, since you already know how to get the maximum inside the array, it is easy to get the maximum of each array or each row in a two-dimensional array. What's important is that we know how to iterate over this 2D array, all right? Let's run the program, and here is the output. The maximum in the first row is 10, the second row is 12, and the last row is 11. Let's change this array for example, let's put 99 here, and over here let's say 15, and over here let's say 74. Run the program again, and as you can see, this is our output. Now let's change this exercise and use a method to get the maximum of each row in this array. So have a look over here. I will iterate over the 2D array, and each time I'm going to print row, then the number of the row, and after that I will call a method that is called getMax, and you will give it the current row. So we will pass integers sub i as a parameter to this method. Now as you can see, we only have one statement in this for loop. So we do not need the braces. So let's remove them like this. Now what's happening exactly? We are iterating over all the rows and each time we are passing the current row to the method getMaximum. And this method will return the maximum element in the current row that we passed as a parameter. So let's create this method. Press Alt and Enter and we will choose the first option, create method getMax in the class main. And here is the method automatically created. We want it to return an integer and it takes an array of integers as a parameter and let's call it integers, like this. Now inside this method, we want to iterate over this array and get the maximum. So now we are working with a one dimensional array because as you know, each element in a two dimensional array is a one dimensional array. And I say again, this integer sub i is an element in the 2D array. So it is a one dimensional array. So over here, I'm going to create a variable called max and I will assign it to be equal to the first element in this array. After that, we'll iterate over the rest of the elements. So let's use a for loop starting from zero. I will be less than the number of the elements in this array. So let's say integers dot length and then i plus plus. Okay. In this loop, assign maximum to be equal to a ternary operator. So if the maximum is less than the integers sub i, then maximum will be equal to integers sub i because we have a new maximum. And if this is not true, maximum will stay as it is. Now, after this loop finishes executing, we will have the maximum in the variable maximum. So let's return it. I will return max. After we return the maximum, we will concatenate it to this string over here and print it. Okay, so let's run the program. And as you can see, we have the same result. 
So I hope that you can see the benefit of using this method in order to simplify getting the maximum in this array. And you already know how to write this method because we previously wrote an exercise to get the maximum in a one dimensional array. So we are using that exercise in this exercise over here. So this is it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.